Is this damage control? Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz has congratulated Qatar for hosting the World Cup amid criticism. The number of visitors coming into Qatar is set to exceed pre-pandemic levels. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Municipality has announced big recycling numbers related to the FIFA World Cup. And finally, everything related to the World Cup is right here. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani received a congratulatory phone call from Germany's Chancellor Olaf Scholz on Monday. In the call, the German Chancellor commended Qatar for organizing and hosting the ongoing 2022 FIFA World Cup. This appears to be a change of tune for the Germans who have been criticizing Qatar as part of a mass campaign slamming the Gulf state. This week, Germany's ambassador to Doha urged his country to reconsider its recent criticism of Doha, warning that recent comments had caused serious harm. Qatar Tourism has released a data analysis report which showed Qatar had welcomed nearly 180,000 visitors in October, making a six-year high. Throughout the year, tourists to the Gulf state have steadily increased visitors from the GCC, making up more than a third of all foreign visitors in October. Due to the ongoing 2022 FIFA World Cup, the final number of visitors coming into Qatar is expected to exceed pre-pandemic levels. Now, Qatar's Ministry of Municipality has announced that the solid waste recycling project that has been ongoing for the 2022 FIFA World Cup is set to produce 298 8,937 kilowatt per hour of clean energy. This comes from just the first two weeks of the tournament. And in today's World Cup review and preview, it was business as usual for both the favorites of the day on Monday. Tournament shockers Japan nearly caused another shock by drawing 1-1 and taking it all the way to penalties against 2018's beaten finalists Croatia. But the Croats displayed the reason they were favorite with goalkeeper Livakovic saving three Japanese penalties to send Croatia through to the quarterfinals. In the second round of 16 match of the evening, Brazil hammered South Korea 4-1 with all four of their goals coming in the first half. Both Croatia and Brazil's wins sets them up against each other for a quarterfinal tie. Coming up tonight is the last bit of round of 16 action as Africa's final hope Morocco takes on Spain with Portugal later battling it out with Switzerland. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.